The Pahiatua Hospital closed in 1998. Along with the closure went a number of the local medical services, including day surgery, x-ray and ECG facilities. Patients from the southern Tararua region who needed specialist attention now had to travel to Palmerston North or Masterton hospitals, between 40 and 60 kilometres away. This change of circumstances highlighted a number of difficulties for local people. Not all of the patients needing treatment were able to drive themselves the 80 or 120 kilometre round trips to and from those hospitals. Others found the additional cost of travel prohibitive and without suitable bus services, it was often impossible to meet allotted appointment times, some as early as 7 a.m. It was particularly hard for the elderly, who after all, were the ones most likely to need these kinds of medical treatment. Public meetings were held in Pahiatua to discuss possible solutions within the region and a decision was made to investigate setting up a new health shuttle service similar to the one started in Danavuk a few years earlier in conjunction with the St John's Ambulance. The task was not a small one. After investigating the viability and sustainability of the proposed project, then followed the recruitment and training of a sufficient number of volunteers for the service, the obtaining of uniforms, acquisition of suitable vehicles, and the ongoing funding of day-to-day -day operations. In March 2008, the Southern Tararua Health Shuttle was introduced to the community as a further selfless example of people helping people. Under the leadership of Tom Fleming, who has been the coordinator and spokesperson from its inception, the health shuttle has become an essential service for the community. Initially, the service was provided using the volunteers' own vehicles, plus one St John's saloon car to transport patients throughout the region. Most of the volunteers are retired or semi-retired local people who gladly give generously of their time, often until late in the evening. So what does this all mean to the people in our community? Those who use it are provided with personal assistance and door-to-door -door travel to their health appointments, both in our region and beyond, at minimal cost to them. The service is provided for the cost of a donation, but the actual amount is determined by the patient, simply depending on what they can afford. One of the most important aspects of this project is how it is able to be replicated in other localities, as proven by the introduction of health shuttles in both Danavirk and Pahiatua areas. The Southern Tararua Health Shuttle, a community service manned by volunteers who give where it counts and truly go the extra mile. I'm very grateful to St John's who take me on their shuttle bus regularly to Paiatua. I've been an invalid for years and I've been getting St John's for years and with these new shuttle buses with the wheelchair lifts, uh, lifts are absolute an asset.